Yes, hello and welcome. Uh, I'm not in the position where I used to be for the class because there is heavy rain. Heavy rain, so we're in a different position, but we're still going to start. And today we're going to be looking at uh, how to develop web applications using Django. Web applications using Django. That's what we're going to be doing today. And to do that, I'm going to quickly share my screen. Okay, so we're going to be looking at doing web application using Django. Uh, I have already prepared this lecture in our website. So quickly get to uh, www.jamwhitenicoini.com and you can scroll down. And once you scroll down, uh, you're going to see Django Web App Steps. So that is what we're doing. Uh, please, if you're already here, let me know so that we can continue. Uh, Remy, are you there? Yes, yes. OK. So that is what we're using. Django Web App Steps is on our website. So once you get to canvaeknecouni.com website, you will see the search. So just click on the search and type Django Web App Steps. So that is what we're going to be using to learn. So let's start up immediately. So what is Django? Django is a high-level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean pragmatic design built by experienced developers. So this Django is actually built by very experienced developers to help us design or develop web applications very, very fast in Python. It takes care of much of the hassle of web development. So you can focus on writing your app without needing to reinvent the wheel. So most of the things that you need to do as a developer in Django, those things are already there. So instead of reinventing the well, you just use the structure that they have already have. And this, Python, this Django is built by very experienced Python developers so that you can now focus on your app and not reinvent the well. So Django is free and open source, and it is ridiculously fast. Applications that are done on Django, they are so fast. And that's why most people are trying to use Django now. Django is a Python-based free and open source web framework that follows the model view controller. So as we are going to be using Django, we are going to find out that Django follows uh, the MVC architecture. So if you go for an uh, interview and they ask you, do you know what is MVC architecture? You're supposed to know. It simply means model view controller. And what it means is that model is your back end, your database. The, the logic that connects to your database is your model. View is what people are seeing, what your clients are seeing, like your HTML, CSS. Controller is now the logic that connects the model to the view. So that is the architecture that Django uses. Now, Django is maintained by Django Software Foundation, which is an American independent organization established as a 501 nonprofit. So it's a nonprofit organization helping us to work on Django and develop. So the website of Django is www.djangoproject.com. So if you click on this website like I'm going to do now, it will open up the Django website. So now we are going to start our Django now. Let's start our Django. So to do that, the first thing we do is that we install the virtual environment. So I'm going to simply copy this code. So the codes are already there for you so that you don't suffer yourself. Then you get to pip install pip m. That's all we're doing. So this is my VS code. Uh, so what I did first, please, I want you to do this first. I already told my, my people here to do So right click on your desktop, click on new, click on folder. 
and type in the name of the folder. The name is Django Thought. So that is the folder we are going to be using, Django DUT. So you can see my own here, Django Thought. I already have it here. That's why I don't, I don't have to create it again. So have your own folder, Django Thought. So once you have the folder, open your VS Code, then click on what? File, then click on Open Folder. Then select that Django Thought, then it will be open. So you can see that I have my Django Thought open. I already have a Python project there. But I want to have the one I'm doing with you now. So inside your Django Thought, please, I want you to create a new folder there for the project that we are going to be having today. And we're going to call it. Uh, Let's call it uh, Django Web. So that is the name of the folder that we'll be working with. So Django Thoughts simply means Django Tutorials. All the tutorials that we're going to be having in Django will be under Django Thoughts. But Django Web will have our folder. So I'm going to bring up my terminal by simply saying Control Backtick. So my terminal is open. Uh, please, I hope you can hear me very well because it's raining. So people that are on their earphones, let me know whether you can hear me. Can you hear me very well? Can you hear me very well? I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So please, if you're looking, you'll see my Django thought is on my desktop. So I'm going to cd into the Django web that I just created. So to do that, I simply say cd into what? Django web. I press enter. So I'm now inside the directory of the Django web. That is where we're going. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to install the, uh, the virtual environment. So I'm going to say pip install pip m. So that's the first line of code. Then I press the enter key and I allow it to install. So like I said, I've made this class very, very easy by putting all the codes that you're going to be using. You're going to be doing them one by one. So the first thing is to install the pip m. That's what I'm doing now. After that, I'm going to create the virtual environment by doing this. After that, we install Django by doing this. After that, we'll create the project by doing this. So that is what we're going to be doing. It's made so easy. Like I said, within three days, we should be done with this Django so that we can enter our machine learning class. We're going to be doing machine learning and data science by next week because we are preparing for a hackathon, an event that will be going on in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. So I want us to prepare for that. Yes, somebody is asking questions. Mm -hmm. I cannot hear you talk loud. Hello. Yes. Uh, no, I, I, sorry, I didn't know that I'm not much. I was trying to explain something to so. Okay, please be on me. Joshua, are you raising your hand? Let me hear you. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. So, how did you get this? What you are trying to install? What I'm trying to install is being installed from their site. So once you say pip install, it will get installed. Yes, sir. Are you getting me? No, sir. Huh? Hello, hello, sir. Yes. Uh, the installation. I, I guess I'm getting errors. Search. Okay. Um, my my is showing yellow rather than white. That yours is showing. Could could that be network issue? Yeah. Make sure you have your network. Sure. 
Sir, please, can you um, briefly come again for all that joined lately? Okay. So for those that joined late, I'm going to repeat what I just did now. So I actually said the steps that we're going to be using to do our Django app is already on Django Eknecho Uni. So get to the website www.django.eknecho Uni. Click on the search there, type in Django Web App Steps. So it's going to open up this. So this contains the steps that you can use to set up your Django Web App. So it's very simple. So once you're there, I said we define what Django was and we said that Django is a high level Python web framework that encourages rapid development, clean programmatic design of web applications. And it's an open source software that is developed by experienced developers. And that their website is www.djangoproject.com. So that's what we said. And we said now to start that we need, you need to open a folder on our desktop. So that folder, right click, the normal way you're using creating a folder, call it Django Talks. So once you open it, open your VS Code. Then inside your VS Code, go to File, Open Folder, and locate that folder that you created. Open it. That is my Django Talks here. So inside my Django Talks, I'm going to have a lot of Django projects here. And that's why I created another folder. This one is not file again, folder. So you click on folder, you type in the name Django Web. So you will now create this folder. So once you create this folder, CD into that folder by saying CD Django Web, because I want to be in this directory. Once you do it, you are going to see Django Web here. So that means you're there. So once you're there now, install your PIPM so that you can use it to create a virtual environment. And that's what I did by saying pip install pip m. And that is the installation. And the installation is done, you can see, successfully installed pip m. So that's the first thing I did. And how did I say, and I said that all these tools are already here, step by step, pip install pip, install pip m. That's the first thing we did. The next thing we're gonna do is to create the virtual environment. And how to do that is by saying pip m shell. So that is the code we are using. Pip m shell. So I made this very fast because I want us to finish this class and start learning machine learning. That's why I took out my time to bring out all the steps of my website, www.jamboyetnikoyu, so that we can quickly finish this and get to do our machine learning because we are preparing for a hackathon, a hackathon that is coming in Lagos by next month. So I was invited to bring my students to that hackathon. So I'm taking you guys there. So we are supposed to uh, do uh, we are supposed to do machine learning. So I want us to start our machine learning class in time so that we can be able to Hello, sir. class. Yeah. No, I'm good. I, I got errors. Said warning, you are using PIP version 20 dot two one however version of twenty dot two two is available they will show you how i'm just i'm just installing it now. yeah do that so great i think my own is also giving me similar issues so i have to also do this here. so once it tells you to upgrade please upgrade if it tells you to upgrade upgrade very very important upgrade and do it so, okay so what am i going to upgrade sir they will give you the steps there did you see the step uh, they say you should consider updating via user app data local program python okay uh, that was... I, might need, I might need to come and check it yeah. out so, yeah. okay that's, that's... okay so i will be taking the steps one by one while uh, when i come out i'll show you guys that. so you can see launching subshell in virtual environment so i think that uh, my virtual environment successfully created virtual environment that's the next thing i did so the next thing will be to install Django. So pipm install Django. So we are, we, you see that what we did, we installed pipm first. So using that pipm, that's what we are using to create a shell, which is the environment. And we are using it to also do install the Django as the next step. So our pipm uh, shell, that's the last thing I did. So now I want to install Django. So that is the, that is what I'm going to use for Django. 
So pip install Django. So I'm gonna wait out my Django to get installed. So like I said, all the steps are here. So please run down these steps one by one so that I'll go through, check each of your, your systems one by one and see the problems they are having. So if you have any problem, I should be able to take care of the problem. So I'm coming at your box to check. But while I'm coming, please be installing one by one just the way I'm going. After this, this is the next thing to do to create the, the application. Then we're going to run it to see the way it's run. Then we'll run our migrations for our database. And we'll start using Shell to create our database and the questions that are supposed to be there. So it's a very simple thing we are doing today. So make sure you finish it up so that we can start the actual work on our website. So I'm going to come out now. You can see that my Django is installing. So once I come out, I'll go by your sites everybody's back and i see what you're doing uh, okay so that's what i'm going to do so start with working on your own now so that if you have any issue i should be able to see it when i come i don't want to come and start looking at and, and you, are, you are still yet to try so try out so that i'll see what your problems are uh, my nepa is seriously disturbing me here, so I'll fix it out. You can see that I'm very, very dark now, but we're working on it very soon. To be sorted out, I will move well. So you can see now that Django is installing. So once uh, Django finishes installing, the next thing I will do is to do what? Is to create the app folder. So the app itself, which is my website. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that by saying Django admin. Immediately after installing Django, Django will be the command that you'll be using. So I'll say Django admin, please, I want to start a new project. And that new project, the name is going to be Polestar. So my website is Polestar. So once I do that, I will seed into that Polestar and I will run the server. So once I run the server, you see how it works. So I actually want to do this before I come and start checking your work. So let me quickly allow my Django to finish installing. As I want to finish this before I can go by your site and I'll sort out any errors or any problem that you have. Abraham. Abraham. Okay, so I'm going to wait for the Django to finish installing. So we can continue from there. You can see that it's still installing. Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, we 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 didn't even know you we were already in Africa. But the thing is, anytime we, we try to change changes to Django, where to save directory, we to save. Anytime we change directory to Django, where it saves directory, uh, not a directory. You still have back to. Can hear you. Can you can, can you hear me now, sir? 
Anytime we turn the rectory to Django Web, it says not a directory. And you've not created your directory. The file? The file is created already. It's not a file. Django Web is a folder. When you go over here, this is for file. This we is do Django Tooth. Django Tooth is a folder. Django Web is a file. Are you listening to me or are you telling me what to okay. do? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. Django Web is also a folder. When you get into it's your okay. Django box, instead of clicking yeah. on file, click on folder and create a new folder Django Web. Okay. Then, then, then after that, sir. So that's when you can now see the, you can see the into a directory that you've not created. So you can see now that my Django is fully. Uh, and see success now. So what is the next thing to do? The next thing will be to do what? I mean, sir, stop please, that. Sir. It will be to... Please, um, what's your name? No, laugh. Yes, stop disturbing the class. When I, I, I allow for questions, you ask questions. So the next thing is to create the project. So we're going to create the project now. So I'm going to select Django admin start project so that is what the command you use in creating the project so django admin that is the command start project your what is the name of the project what is the name of the website you want to create full star you can see it so that's what i'm going to do now so we're going to create this project which is your website and the name is full star so that's the next line. So you can see that it has a created poster. So I'm going to see the into this poster to continue working on it. So you see the into poster, very simple. I wrote out all these steps for you so that it will enable you to be effective. So see the into poster. You can see now, if you check this directly, you're going to see that we have not poster. So once you're in poster, we're gonna run the migrations, which is the next thing. Uh, okay, first of all, let's start the server. So how do you start the server? You simply say Python manages by run server. So let's start the server so that we we'll see the way our website is looking now. So that's what we are doing now. Okay. So once you run this server, it's going to open it up at a port. You can see starting development server at port 12700. This is the port where you see your website. So I'm going to open up this website now. So to open up this website, just simply say control, click. You go down your control and click. That's how you open this website. Control and click. So once you open it, it will come out on a web browser on this one you're gonna see okay so this is your django website you can see your django website now this is your django website already created for you so with time now you're gonna turn this to be actual your personal website so this is the django website and this is how to set up django and start working so this is how to set up Django and start working. This is what I expect everybody to do for this first class. So that in subsequent classes, we're gonna be looking into the folder. So if you come here now, inside your Django web, you're gonna see this poster. This is the poster, which is the website that you're creating. So this website is gonna allow you to take posts. So when you click on it, you're gonna see other files. This is the manager file that will be helping you to run your server. You now click inside poster, you're going to see the various files that enable the model view control way of writing codes in Django, which involve you setting up your URLs and also creating your view and models. So this is where we're going to be stopping now. So I'm going to go by your sites one by one to locate your problem and help you sort it out. So I had to move very fast so that my digital audience and all of you that are listening from other places can get this uh, accurately. So like I said before, all the steps that we are taking, they are already here. You get to this website, www.jangoyeknikoyuni.com. Click on the search and search for Django Web App Steps. 
So under Django Web App Steps, you will see all the steps we've taken so far. But before you start taking this step, create a folder on your desktop. Open up that folder in your VS Code, and you can start taking on these steps. So here you can also see what Django does. So these are the steps, and this is where we stopped. So in subsequent classes, we are going to run the initial migration. We we'll create our post app, create our post migration, run migration. Use the shell to create the various components or the various inputs in the model. Create an admin user and start creating with this app. So please do this now. So I'm coming by your sites to look at what you've done so far so that we can continue from there. So like I said before, we'll run the server. This is our initial Django website. So we're going to start affecting changes to this site. I'll see how powerful Django is in getting our website very, very fast. One good thing about Django is that Django have already done backend. I'm going to show you people backend. If you're using Node.js, JavaScript to do an application, you create the backend by yourself. Do authentication by yourself. You're going to find out that Django have already created a backend, done all the authentications for you, just for you to use. And that's why Django is a very powerful uh, Python framework. So see you until I see you.